I've got a tube rigged up for kokanee fishing and it sports a pair of red octopus hooks. <laughs> That's the traditional rigging for tubes. I've included octopus hooks in the turbo tube kits. So you've got the hooks you need. You need some eight or 10 pound test fluorocarbon leader material. And here's what you wanna do. Go ahead, poke a hole in the end of your tube, shove your leader material through the tube, okay? Then what you wanna do is snell on a pair of the octopus hooks, put them about an inch apart, just like so, that. Now, once your hooks are in place, go ahead, slide that tube down, get that first hook up inside the tube, like so. Let that other one, you know, you want that other one out near the back of the skirt. If you're kokanee fishing, put your, your kernel of shoe peg corn right there, and uh, that's gonna draw the fish in and give them a nice target to strike at. Beyond that, once you got your tube in place on the leader, all you need to do is put on one of the included beads right there, slide on the turbo of your choice. That bead acts as a bearing for that turbo to spin against. Um, if you're kokanee fishing, you're probably gonna wanna be running this behind a dodger. You don't have to, you can run it naked for kokanee and you will catch kokanee on it, but most guys like to run a dodger, usually a four inch dodger. Just remember, put that rig two to three dodger links behind a dodger. If you're using a four inch dodger, eight, nine inches back, something of that order, just enough to impart a little dart and stop action to that rig. That's gonna combine with the vibration and flash being put out by the micro turbo, very effective.